Yo, what is going on guys? It is Primetime Gaming, and we are back with another roster predictions video. This time we're doing it for May 12th. Um, you guys might be wondering why it's coming out on a Wednesday. I figured I might give you guys a little bit more time just to invest some stubs into some players or sell some players if they're going to get a downgrade. So let, without further ado, let's get right into the video. For the Orioles, we have Jonathan Scope. Uh, so far this year, he's hitting 305 with 5 home runs and 18 RBIs. I'm going to say he gets a good power upgrade and a good contact upgrade up to an 81 overall. Could be a solid second baseman for a budget team. Now for the Red Sox, we got a fan favorite, Andrew Benintendi. He's been raking this year, hitting 339 with 5 home runs and 22 RBIs. Give him a good contact upgrade and a power upgrade. Um, I'm going to say he goes up to an 82 overall. Could be a fan favorite to use in Diamond Dynasty. Uh, now for the Yankees, we got a lot of people might be surprised. I'm not going with Aaron Judge. Um, I'm going to go with Aaron Hicks. He's hitting 338 with six home runs and 16 RBIs, and his hitting stats do not match that in Diamond Dynasty. Um, got to upgrade that contact and power. Um, I'm going to say he goes up to a 78 overall. It's been a little bit, little bit of a limited sample size, so not going to upgrade him too much, but give him a solid upgrade. Now for the Rays. We got our first downgrade being Brad Miller. Um, he has struggled so far this year, hitting 193 with uh, only two home runs and 38 strikeouts. Got to give him a little bit of a contact downgrade versus righties, a little bit of a contact or power downgrade versus righties as well. Now for the Blue Jays, we got Kevin Pillar, um, an exceptional fielder known for that first and foremost, but he has been hitting pretty well this year. Uh, he's hitting 304 with 15 extra base hits. Give him a bit of a contact upgrade. Um, he could prove to be a pretty solid center fielder, hitting-wise, along with fielding. Now, the white, now for the White Sox, we got a little bit of a under-the-radar guy, Derek Holland. Um, he only has a 2.02 ERA, and he's had four of five quality starts. Um, I'm going to say he gets a pretty significant upgrade up to a 77 overall. And if he keeps pitching like this, he could be on a pretty solid track to a silver. Now for the Indians, we got um, Cody Allen. Uh, could go diamond. I'm not going to say he goes that far. But so far this year, he has a 0 0.69 ERA, 16.62 Ks per 9, and 9 saves. I'm going to say he goes up to an 89 overall, right on the brink of diamond. Now for the Tigers, we got another downgrade here. Uh, Jordan Zimmerman, not been pitching well at all this year. A 6.21 ERA, a 1.53 whip, and hitters are hitting 311 against him. So I'm going to say he has to get a pretty significant downgrade down to a 78 overall. Um, not, He's not been pitching too well this year. Nothing more to say. Now we got another downgrade for the Royals. Alex Gordon, he's been struggling at the plate early this year. Um, no home runs, only hitting 170, 214 slugging percentage. Got to give him that contact downgrade and that power downgrade. Um, still a great fielder, but he just can't hit for anything right now. Now for the Minnesota Twins, another under the radar guy. We got Hector Santiago. Uh, he has a 2.76 ERA, 5 of 7 quality starts. Um, I'm going to say it's a pretty significant upgrade, up to a 77 overall. Um, and if he keeps pitching like that, he might overpass Santana for the uh, Twins for the twin spotlight right now. Now for the Angels, uh, we have another downgrade. Matt Shoemaker, he's really up and down. I mean, there's no other way to describe him. He's either really good or really poor. And so far to start this year, he's been really poor. 5.21 ERA, with a 1.34 whip, and he only has one quality start out of seven. Got to give him a solid downgrade down to a 76 overall. Now for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, I mentioned this guy in one of my previous videos, Yonder Alonso. Uh, he just keeps improving, hitting 306, 11 home runs, and 27 R RBIs. Uh, he's improved a lot in his time um, getting... I'm not sure how, how old he is, but let's check real quick. 29 years of age, maybe a late bloomer, but he's been outstanding this year. I'm going to say he gets a solid upgrade down, up to a 75, I'll say. 
Now for the Mariners, this is our diamond watch for this week. Uh, Nelson Cruz, he's been exceptional. 321 average, 325 average, sorry, seven home runs and 29 RBIs. I looked and checked to see how he was hitting versus righties because I think that's probably where he's going to get upgraded. And he's hitting in the 330s. Um, he's hitting quite as good against lefties, but that's in a very limited sample size. So um, I'm going to say he gets a pretty significant upgrade to contact versus right. And maybe a slight downgrade of contact versus left, but uh, I think he'll still go diamond. Now to the Rangers, we got uh, a downgrade. Jonathan Lucroy, he's been struggling so far this year, only hitting 214 with six extra base hits. I'm going to say he goes down to an 85 overall. Not quite down to silver, but I think they'll give him a chance to redeem himself. So to an 85 overall, that seems about right to me. Now for the Astros, one of the four... Uh, relief pitchers for them. Another downgrade, we got uh, Luke Gregerson. He's got a 1.61 whip, four home runs given up, and only 13.2 innings pitched. Uh, got to give him a downgrade. It hits per nine, possibly home runs per nine. I'm going to say he goes down to an 80 overall. Not quite bronze, but just almost there. Now for the Braves, we got their catcher, Tyler Flowers. He is hitting a solid 361 with a 473 on base percentage. Um, he's playing a little more than Suzuki, but they're splitting time a little bit. Um, so I think you got to upgrade his hitting stats. He's not the best fielder, but he's getting it done at the plate so far this year. Um, I'm going to say he goes up to a 79 overall. So let's get on to the next one. For the Marlins, we got Marcelo Zuna, uh, another significant one. I'm going to say he gets a pretty significant upgrade up to an 87 overall. Makes him a solid gold. Uh, he's hitting 325 with 11 home runs and 29 RBIs. Um, I think he's established himself as one of the elite outfielders in this league now. And I think he's deserving of that solid rating. Now for the Nationals, uh, we got Ryan Zimmerman. He does not slow down. Um, he's been exceptional. I think he needs a pretty significant upgrade versus those right uh, right-handed batters. Right-handed pitcher, sorry, uh, hitting stats. He is still hitting in the 400s, 13 home runs, 34 RBIs. Give an upgrade up to an 85 overall gold. Now for the Mets, we got Michael Conforto. Uh, still raking the plate, hitting 337, 8 home runs, 21 RBIs. Give him a small upgrade up to an 82 overall. He just got upgraded, but I think he's he's deserving of a slight more slightly higher rating. Now for the Phillies, we got Aaron Alther, um, not too high in this game. Uh, you can see those hitting stats are really poor, but in real life, he is mashing the ball right now, hitting 351, 7 home runs, 21 RBIs, and a 1.179 OPS. I'm going to say he gets a pretty significant upgrade up to, an, up to a 74 overall. Um, he could be on the track to a solid silver in the future if he keeps it up. Now for the Cubs, this is a, um, one you might want to look out for if you have him. Jake Arrieta, he's been struggling. Um, he has a 5.35 ERA and a 1.47 whip. I think he got a downgrade that hits per nine. Um, I'm going to say he doesn't go down quite to gold, but I'm going to say a 90 overall, almost there. Now for the Reds, we got Zach Cozart. I don't understand their hesitancy to give him an upgrade. Those contact stats are way too low for him. He's hitting 350 and has done nothing to show he can't continue it. He has a 1.022 OPS. I'm going to say he gets a solid upgrade up to an 82 overall. I think he's really deserving of it right now. And they owe him for all this time waiting. Now for the Brewers, as much as I'd like to say Jonathan VR, we're going to go with Corey Niebel. Um, he has been exceptional out of the pen with a 1.08 ERA, a 0 0.9 whip, and 14.04 Ks per nine. Give him a solid upgrade up to a 78 overall. Um, he's been incredible out of the pen, and I think he could be um, a pretty solid card to use if he gets that upgrade. He's got good velocity. If he gets that hits per nine upgrade, then he could be a solid bronze reliever. Now for the Pirates, uh, we got a downgrade. Andrew McCutcheon, he's not picking it up. Um, doesn't sh seem like he's ever going to go back to the MVP form he used to have. He's only hitting 222. 
I think you got to give him a contact downgrade. I'm going to say he goes down to an 83 overall. Similar to that uh, Encarnacion downgrade from last week, um, he has just not been producing as of late, and he's got to be downgraded for it. Now for the Cardinals, um, we've got someone who looks like he's found a home in St. Louis. Um, back in, when he was in San Diego, he was really poor, um, getting down to the minor leagues at some point, but Jed Jerko has found a home in St. Louis. He's using 333, six home runs, and a 1.021 OPS. Give him a contact versus right upgrade. A um, little bit of a con or power upgrade. Uh, he could be a solid silver second baseman. I think he's going to go up to an 80 overall right at that silver tier. Now for the Diamondbacks, we have Brandon Drury. Uh, he's been a good contact here so far for the Diamondbacks. Uh, hitting 305 with 10 extra base hits. Give him a little bit of a power upgrade, little contact upgrade. I'm going to say he goes up to a 79 overall. Now for the Rockies, this is one I am pretty excited about. Charlie Blackman, he's been exceptional this year. He's, hitting, he's got 8 home runs, 27 RBIs, hitting solid for con, hitting a good average. Um, I'm going to say he goes up to a, possibly an 87 overall. I think he's doing that well. For the Dodgers, we got Sergio Romo. Um, doesn't look like his former self. He has a 7.94 ERA with a 1.68 whip. Give him a pretty significant downgrade down to a 77 overall. Um, he's just not looking like him himself anymore. Now for the Padres, one of the few players that has been really doing well for them is Brandon Moore. Um, he's got a 2.03 ERA and a 0 0.69 whip. Uh, the bullpen's been pretty good, and I think he's a big part of that. Give him a solid upgrade. I'm going to say he becomes an 80 overall, becomes the third silver reliever for them. Now for the Giants, we got another interesting one for you guys who stayed along for the whole video. Um, Buster Posey, he's been exceptional this year. 367 average, 5 home runs, and a 1.008 OPS. Um, give him a little bit of a contact upgrade, a little bit of a power upgrade. Um, doesn't have too many RBIs, but I think that's more of a factor of his team not getting on base for him. But I think he still gets that upgrade up to a 94 overall. I think he becomes second best catcher in this game. After that, only behind Posada. So might be worth investing if for you big time buyers. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out.